What's going on, everyone? This is Titus Wang here, and I don't think anybody expected this to be the next Direct from Nintendo that we got. Uh, this is another mini partner showcase, and if you remember the mini partner showcases from 2020, some people didn't really find them that interesting. However, I have been told by people that this one is so good that I actually need to react to this if possible, and... Sure enough, you guys are going to see my reaction to this, because, like I said, I'm going to try to react to more Nintendo Directs, and, again, this is a mini-partner showcase. I was originally not going to do a reaction to this, but people just brought it up to my attention, and I was like, okay, we'll actually do it. If you guys want to check out more reactions like this one, make sure to go follow my Twitch channel live, where I actually do this kind of stuff, whether or not I just record or stream this stuff. Go check me out over there, because currently this is being, this is being recorded live over there. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to check this out. Mario, what is up? Welcome. It has been another hot minute. I hope you're doing well. Cuphead, uh, 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 Cuphead DLC in two days. Yes. Okay. I was almost, I almost thought that was a spoiler for a second, but I do know that the Cuphead DLC is coming in two days. You almost scared me for a second. Yeah. Cause also, uh, yeah, for those of you who are in the chat right now, please no spoilers. If you already know what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. I, I have my ways of keeping myself spoiler free. I have not seen anything that they're that they put off in this direct, but I'm excited to check it out because again, people have told me it's really good. Like this may arguably be the best partner direct they've ever put out. So that's why I'm very excited. So without further ado, this is 26 minutes long. So let's 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 jump into this. Here we go. Very excited for what this has to show me. Oh yeah, and also, uh, let me turn the volume up just in case you guys can't hear it or something. I'll just like raise it like this. And yeah, of course, the COVID nineteen stuff. Let me know if the volume's good, guys. Thank you. I would appreciate a sound check. We're just hopping straight into it. When mankind is consumed by darkness. And the land falls into chaos. Oh, this is Sunbreak. Demon of the abyss. This, this actually drops tomorrow, apparently. They come rushing here in a desperate attempt to survive. Both beast and man have more in common than they think. Yep, this is a hundred percent Sunbreak. I know some people in the digital bonfire are really excited for this to come out tomorrow. Like, super excited. Again, if somebody in the chat can give me a sound check on how this all sounds, like if the volume on the video is good, greatly appreciate it. Personally, I'm not excited for this, but again, I know people that are. Sounds great, thank you. Another begins. Wandering flames. I did at least try out the one of the opening demos of this, and it was eh. Like it was cool, but it's just not for me. The graphics are gorgeous. Yeah, no, they are. Ooh, shoutouts to Sarah Elaine. Her, 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 her thing was her thing was actually in the bottom right. Yeah, out on a hunt with my favorite cube. Remember what you're fighting for. Don't dilly dallying from you. Let's have some fun. Woo! Here it comes. This is a nice song, by the way. Very graceful. Yep, there it is. And again, I believe this drops tomorrow, actually. Er, no, sorry, today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. I believe this drops Thursday. So, never mind. I forget what I said earlier. I, I think this actually comes out in a couple of days. I, I thought tomorrow was Thursday for a second. Today's only Tuesday. 
Wow. Seething Basil Goose? Is that how you pronounce that? August 2022? Okay. Oh! Oh, there's multiple updates! To be continued. June 30th, yep, two days from now. I, I, thank, thankfully, I corrected myself, and there is, in fact, a demo right now. Again, I know people who are incredibly excited about this. So they've already told me there's a demo and stuff. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into the headlines. Sick. The battle to reclaim Earth begins. I, I don't know what this is. The year is 5012 AD. Machine lifeforms have overwhelmed the planet, causing the collapse of civilization and forcing humans to take refuge on the moon. Oh! Now, with an android squad called your prepared to stand against Near automatas on Switch? I don't play this, but I know people who are mega fans of this. Yup, 2B is the main character. Nine Whoa! Are two key members of this squad. Okay. I'm happy for a lot of people already. I can see why people said this direct's really good and we're just barely getting into it. I know Nier on Switch is huge for a lot of people. Of this bloodless battle. That's crazy. You just die already! This version of the award-winning Nier Automata yeah. comes with previously released this, the, the, No kidding, this game has won tons of awards. New costumes exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version will also be available at launch. Nice! Reclaim Earth in Nier Automata, the end of Yorha edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system hmm. October 6th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. There you go, you can pre-order it today. Wow. Oh? A maze of deceptions. A murder mystery. I don't think I'm familiar with this at all. A palace of memories? Get ready to immerse yourself in surreal riddles and a chilling Whoa. story in this modern take on puzzle adventure games. I, I like how there's only just red and red, white, and black color in this. That's kind of cool. Solve the enigma of Lorelei, Lorelei and, and the laser, laser eyes, eyes. Launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. Anna Pura, I've heard of that company before. I don't remember what they make, though. Familiar faces are making a splash in these games. Splash? Oh, Bomberman! A new Bomberman game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Super this Bomberman R2. The new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. A team of up to 15 players must blast their way to... Oh, no, Johnny. Uh, speaking of which, hello, Johnny. It's good to see you again. And we got a Waluigi impression. Literally. All right. I'm sorry for all of you that are going to watch this on YouTube, but I'm about to do a Waluigi impression for at least a minute. Here we go. R2 Luigi. <coughs> Ten Mega Man Battle Network games. Oh my god, it's a Mega Man! System are coming to Nintendo the Switch. blue robot that Control got you a Smash Man character over me! Use battle chips to gain devastating abilities. While Luigi's are never gonna win over a Mega Man. With over never! And a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the series. Well, Luigi knows the people that are big fans of Mega Man. Launches on Nintendo Switch next year. The a huge of fans of Mega Man. Available as Volume One and Volume Two, each sold. Oh, Tripping Bears! Thank you for the beats. Thank you. Oh, it's a Pac-Man. It's coming soon. Pac-Man World Repack has been kidnapped. To rescue them. He sets off for Ghost Island. Well, Luigi he hates a fighting Pac-Man. All of them ghosts. Why? With Pac -Dots. The Rebels, I've finally been able to stay up to watch one of your streams. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Johnny. But well, Luigi has to disappear for the sake of this. For the sake of this reaction. For all sorts of zany levels. Save the fans in Pac-Man World Repack. 
launching on Nintendo yeah, sorry, Johnny. I have to cut that reaction short because it might be a little obnoxious. This, this is going up on YouTube. Friends. But One it's good to see you, and, and, and Teddy, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. A fawn that. and a wolf cub must work together to find a way home across the snowy wilderness in the handcrafted world of Blanc. Uh, uh, Teddy, can you remind me what your Twitter is again? Adventure. These unlikely friends must coordinate and use their individual strengths to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wild. Like, just type your Twitter handle in chat. I don't mind. Also, this this actually looks really cool. Story with local and online co this game has online? So players can enjoy it. What? That's legit, dude. That's so... Dude, this is easily... This is easily a couple's game. This is so cute. This is this is so cute. Launching as a console exclusive on Nintendo Switch February 20. Wow. This, so this is a Switch exclusive too for that matter. Arr, a swashbuckling adventure returns. Oh god, this pirate impression. Deep in the Caribbean. Pirating is in my blood. Like adrenaline or stale grog. While Luigi made it to the stream I've but he couldn't make it to Smash. I know, right? Scrapbooks. I've got stories about ships. Fights, I love gearbox fun, games. Oh well, nice. I'm, 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 I'm glad then. But how that might, that might be a day one pickup for you. The above. My name is. Uh, excuse me. And this is a story about the time I finally found the secret of Monkey Island. I brush three wood. You know, th this th this actually remind th this art style reminds me of Guacamelee. Actually, it looks very similar to that. Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Uh, Teddy, can you remind me again what your Twitter is? I still, I still, I still need your Twitter. I have, I haven't tagged you in anything in a while. But I, but I want to, but I want to, I definitely want to thank you for sure. Return to Monkey Island. Reject human, return to monkey. Monkey around in Return to Monkey Island, launching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. Oh, is this is that by Devolver next, Digital? We have some news about a game that was announced last June. Please take a look. Last June. Mario and the Rabbit. Oh, this game. A adventure in the latest Mario Plus Dude. game. I've heard really good things about the first one and its DLC. I might need I might need to play this at some point. Or, well, the first one. Here. Their goal? Take the energy possessed by sparks. Oh, these dude. mysterious creatures. AKA Rabbit now, Lumas. Our heroes must set out to save them. A new adventure of epic proportions awaits. Oh, they actually have star bits? That's sick. A turn-based battle when you encounter an enemy. Dude, I love that this is based off of Mario Galaxy. Before we begin, I love that game. You ought to know. You can freely move around the battlefield as much as you'd like within your character's range before using their weapon. Pretty neat, huh? Let's start with Mario. Three enemies are in the way, so let's dash into one of them. Now select Rabbit Rosalina. Oh and have boy. Her dash into another. I still have my old Twitter. I think I think you're still on it as a follower. Okay. Can you, can you just remind me what your Twitter handle is? Because it might take me a while to find you. That, that, that's why I'm asking about it. By using a dash first, then I, I kind of don't remember what it was. Were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Ooh. Back to Mario. Let's take out the other two. It's just tripping the bears now? Okay, perfect. Thank you. That concludes his turn. Last but not least, Rabbit Rosalina. Team up with an ally and jump! Get Dude, this game looks so good. With the Kaboomer. Okay, our turn's over. And now, the enemy attacks. Be sure to take cover, and you might be safe. If you don't, it won't be pretty. Alright, we've got the floor again. 
dash toward the bomb. And if you chuck it over. Wow. That'll do it. That's really cool. We got a Du Bois and a De Bears in the, the chat. Team yeah. Victory is how you assemble your team and navigate around the battlefield. Wait, is that Bowser? And he's joining the team? Whoa! Mario plus Rabbids sparks of. Oh, that's all they're gonna give us. Okay. Nintendo Switch system October twentieth. Pre-orders begin today. Whoa! Nintendo what the fudge? Uh, Gija, Check welcome to the Ubisoft stream, and Quipitos. Hey, my bro, can you say? Mario plus Rabbids sparks of hope. I have no idea what that is, but in case that's something inappropriate in another language, I'm not gonna say it. But welcome to both of you. We hope you're looking forward to the chaotic adventures of Mario and the Rabbit. Yeah, you guys should be besties. Let's take a look at more headlines. That's actually kind of a coincidence. What what is happening? There's uh Santiques. 330, welcome. I can't speak Spanish, unfortunately. Storm, young alchemist but welcome. Crash lands in ancient ruins. The layout of the Little Noah Scion of Paradise. Every time you enter them. Recruit allies called Lilliputs to challenge the enemies lurking around every corner. String together combos and perform powerful elemental attacks to defeat foes. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise. What does that even mean? I don't know what that means. Switch later today. All aboard! Oh, this was made by Epic Games? Railgrade. You'll build railway systems to efficiently I will say, cargo, speaking of Epic Games, the success that they've had with Fall Guys so far is incredible. Colony. Complete various tasks to prepare each shipment before it's delivered to its destination. I don't know what y'all are saying, but I'm not I'm not saying it. I'm not saying whatever the heck's going on in there. Like the number and length of trains to run, which resources to acquire, and how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Railgrade steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Joint aspiring game creator Kenta RPG time the legend of right save the world in his latest creation the legend of right this is cute taking place in it's Kenta literally Nova. in a storybook this RPG spans over 200 pages where you must draw I just tried fall guys and it's so frustrating dude Teddy we got to play fall guys sometime I've been I've been legit playing it on switch for like the last week and it's so much fun RPG time the legend of right I heard those guys make very epic games, but um. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Spin dash into a ah Sonic Frontiers. Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Island. Yeah, I played on Xbox though. No worries, because Fall Guys is actually free, free, and it's cross-play and cross-progression. So. No need to worry about that anymore. Anyone on any console can play it together, which is awesome. They needed this. Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. This this game looks promising for Sega fans. With good timing, at least from what I'm seeing as of right now. Enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's arsenal of moves. Woo! Oh yes, then we need to play some time. Yeah, definitely. I don't know when I'll be streaming it again because I was streaming it like all week last week. But but definitely when you have the chance, we should play it again. Sonic 06 2022. Oof. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? Sonic Frontiers dashes. Oh, is that the new Switch logo? Design. That's cool. It's a nice logo, actually. Live magically alongside oh, Disney no. and Pixar friends. Okay, Green if I Valley was once an idyllic land where Disney and Pixar characters lived in harmony. I have a feeling I'm going to get copyrighted by this. Dream into a nightmare. But we'll leave what but we'll leave the sound on. To help these iconic residents recover their lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you here. Bring the magic back to Dreamlight Valley in this mesmerizing life simulation adventure. Explore this land's many diverse realms and forge lasting friendships with heroes and villains alike. Everyone you meet will have personal stories to discover and adventures to complete. Help them out by exploring, giving them gifts, and performing other fun activities. In this world, you can be whoever you dream yourself to be. <laughs> Dreamlight Valley. Disney Dreamlight Valley launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th as an early access title. Hmm. Okay. 
take these adventures with you on the go. Reminds me of that Disney Infinity game back in the day. Yeah, and all those char and and all those characters that just never brought got brought back again. Like those character figures. They were sort of like amiibos for Disney, but they never brought that idea back. Also, this game people are very excited about. Demo with the start of three chapters: Imperial China, Twilight of Edo, Japan. And the distant future will be yeah. available on Nintendo eShop later today. Ooh, and save data save transfer. Data from the demo can be transferred to the full game once Never been a fan of Disney games, just something the about Rimon, them except Kingdom Hearts. Nobody, and their friends land on an unknown planet. That's fair. Also, for those of you who are Doramon fans, by farming, plow the field, you guys got a game. Crops, and and it looks animals. a lot like... Stardew Valley. Use Doraemon's secret gadgets this looks like if Doraemon and Stardew Valley had a child. Living with friends. Disney Infinity 4.0, hopefully and someday. And nah, man. I think I think they're honestly you done. Can build a ranch together. I, like, I'm sorry to Doraemon admit it, but, but Disney Infinity's kind of dead at this point. Launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. The world of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay in Minecraft Legends. What? A beautiful land surrounded by rich nature. First Minecraft Dungeons, now Minecraft adventure. Legends. Team up with wow. And fight against this monstrous force threatening the Th world. This is actually secrets await This is an actual open world universe. Minecraft RPG. Minecraft That's Legends crazy. Launches on Nintendo Switch next and Skylanders, year. I think, bring the toys brings toys to life back. Yeah. Again, same paradise. idea pretty much. Oh, Dragon Quest. I I I, I recognize that music anywhere. In oh man, Teddy, Teddy's pretty excited for Minecraft, yeah. A variety of well flip, flip a new RPG adventure. adventure. That, that, I mean, that's pretty cool for all the Minecraft people. Finder, and this is a straight-up Dragon Quest, like, mini Focus RPG. Dun, dun. To reach high ledges, or I'm definitely playing Legends, well hey, cool. Support your monsters in battle as they fearlessly fend off foes. Bring your hard-earned haul back to your base and see how much it's worth. Collect more riches to expand your base and increase your treasure hunting level. X marks the spot when Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December There you go, for all the tra Dragon Quest fans out there. Oh, we got a montage? Alright, hold on. I'm actually gonna mute this because this... I'm actually gonna mute this because this copy- this copy- the montage music actually copyrighted my reaction last time, so I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna leave this muted for a little bit. So there was Fire Emblem Three Hopes, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, here's No Man's Sky. Uh, I never did dungeons, but this is something that interests me. Okay, well cool. Again, very happy for all the Minecraft fans out there. Minecraft only continues to just get more popular. And flippin', what's it called? This only this only this only further proves the point. They literally just made a whole new Minecraft game based on actual RPG stuff. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get ready to unmute. There's only four minutes left in this. They have to end on a banger. Was oh, that it? Oh. Oh, Portal. So much fun together. Portal. This got announced in the last Nintendo Direct, actually. And required. So I know about there this. Might even be cake. The portal companion collection will be Minecraft the forever. Hey, today. more power to you. I, I gave Minecraft a try and personally it's not something I could see myself playing in the long run, but it's cool. I do like the ideas and stuff, but but I'm not like that interested in it. Oh, available today. Whoa. You guys can get portal today. Fight and forge friendships in a new fantasy world. Hello there. Welcome to Leafy. Portal, love that game too. Yeah, it literally just dropped on Switch apparently. Today. You guys could you guys could have already started playing it. New life simulation RPG. That's wild. Do a little farm work. Cook and craft items. And trek through the fields to collect materials. All while meeting townsfolk along the way. The seasons gently flow from spring, summer, fall, and winter. 
if you had a switch, oh man. They will give way to the season of death. Quietus. I mean, that means you've played Portal on on PC then, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, you should try out Stanley Parable. It gave me a good laugh. No, I've seen some gameplay of Stanley Parable, and it's, it definitely seems like one of those very playful games, which I which that's great. It's just, unfortunately, my PC can't run most games anymore. I'm better off running Switch games until I can get a more powerful PC, unfortunately. The fate of the village depends on you. Oh, so you have played Portal on PC. Good. Then, you, then yeah, then you know how good it is. In Harvestella, launching on Nintendo Harvestella. Switch, November 4th. This next segment will be our last announcement. Oh, you know, okay. You know this has to be good if people were telling me this was worth reacting to. Persona? Mission start. Holy crap. Coming at ya. Persona on Switch. I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Heart. Wow, it's about time, dude. And today, I'm bringing along they recently announced this coming to Xbox in, in their last conference. October 21st. You're ready. Dude, my friend, my best friend, is a mega fan of Persona. I have almost no excuse not to play this now. I just have so much stuff to play in my backlog, but now I might actually have to give this a shot. Persona 5 Royal. Yep, Persona 5 Royal will launch on Nintendo Switch October 21st. Wow. And that's not all. Oh? Let's keep the ball rolling. Let me guess. Th let me guess. Three and four are in this too. Nice baton pass, Morgana. Okay, everyone, check this out. I'm actually not familiar with that character. Yup, there's Persona 4 Golden. It's starting to get predictable now, but wow, dude, my bet, dude, my best friend's actually gonna freak out knowing that I might actually have to try Persona now. Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable. Are Persona 3. Baby, baby. I, I, I am familiar with some of the music in Persona, actually, because because certain channels have made of memes. Oh, Persona 5's coming first, okay. Okay. You know what, I think I'll actually wait to pick up this collection until all of the games are available, because I want to start with Persona 3 and work my way up to 5. Although... Although the Persona games are quite a commitment, so I'll think about that, actually, but... That's it! Ending music is always such a banger. That's it! Dude, yeah, honestly, solid direct. I, 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 can't, ev I can't even lie, that was really good. Um, again, better than most of their partner directs. I, I might also have to agree with people and say that this is probably arguably the best one that's come out. Because, I mean, Persona, I mean, is it is it weird for me to think that Persona would eventually come out on Switch since they announced it for Xbox? We just didn't know how soon it was going to come out. And now that we know that Persona 5 Royal is actually coming out in October, that's pretty incredible. And again, my best friend, if my best friend is somehow watching this, he's a huge fan of Persona. So now he's almost so now there's like almost no reason for me not to play it. But again, the only thing that's going to stop me at this point is the massive backlog with my Switch that I still have. And even then, I'm not sure if I want to start with Persona 5 and then work my way down to 4 and then 3 eventually. So maybe I'll actually hold off on getting the collection until I start with Persona 3 because I kind of want to start with I guess you could say the not as good game and work my way up to the absolute high quality game if that makes sense. Uh, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe came out on Switch in April. Oh, did it? Well, I then maybe I will have to give Stanley Parable a shot. Again, there's just so many good games that are out right now. I mean, again, Fall Guys literally dropped earlier this week for free. And it's been absolutely such a blast to play with people. You have no idea. Again, go follow me on Twitch if, if you want to be part of these Fall Guys sessions. But... Let's go ahead and talk about what the highlights were, because, again, solid direct. I can see why it was actually worth reacting to. And again, I was almost thinking about not reacting to this, but... So, let's see. Uh, we started out with Sunbreak, which I know some people are pretty excited about. The, uh, Sunbreak might arguably be the highlight for some people. Uh, Near Art Automata getting announced. Wow, actually, perfect timestamp right there. Near Automata getting announced was a big one. 
that was that was huge. Uh, I'm probably not going to play that, but I'm happy for all the people that are. Uh, they announced a Bomberman sequel. There is apparently Mega Man, a, a lot of Mega Man games. I'm just going to quickly look at this section real quick. Oh, wait, was that Battle Network? Wait a minute. Battle Network. Hold on. Battle Network, Battle Network 2, all the Battle Network games? See, I'm actually glad I really went back and looked at this, because I also know some big Mega Man Battle Network fans. So the fact that they're all on Switch now, like legit all of them is insane. That's so cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm also personally, I don't really play Mega Man, but again, I'm, I'm just happy for all the people that didn't even expect to get some of their, some of their favorite stuff on switch but got got it anyway you know that's really cool originally released on the game boy advance system Arcade wow to nintendo switch yeah see i don't i think i was i think i was distracted during this announcement actually because i think i think it was because of you johnny because you redeemed a a waluigi impression i'm gonna probably have to put that up on screen so people understand what exactly happened uh and i might have butchered it a little bit to be honest because i was i was more focused on watching than actually trying to do the impression but Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. That's cool. Apparently, it's a Pac-Man World remake, which is kind of sick. Pac-Man World Repack, launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. Yeah, Pac-Man World Repack. That's what it's called. So there you go. This game was incredibly cute. This one right here with the art style. This this one looks really cool, and apparently it has online play in it, which is actually absurd. That's, I, I can't believe something like this has online play, but that's so cool that it does. That's actually insane. I think, I think besides the Persona announcement, and I guess Nier as well, this is probably the next surprising thing. This, this looks so cute. I could see couples easily playing this. And, and, and also, if it has online, the homies can play this together. Like, what's not, what's not to love about this? I, I, I think this is going to have online from the get-go. Right? There's, if they're going to talk about online in this direct for this game, then you know the online is going to be here day one. Maybe you have to progress in a certain amount of the game to eventually unlock online, but for the most part, there's online in this, which is so cool. I did not expect a game like this to have online. And again, great for couples. And yes, and, and Teddy agrees with me that it's very adorable. It's, it, it's so cute. The art style is also very unique, too. I mean, I'm not even mad that this isn't even in color. This, this, this just the, the the designs are already enough for me to for me to like this, you know. So, what was this called again? This was called uh, this was called Blanc, and it's coming out February of next year. Published by Gearbox Publishing, uh, and apparently, and we got some fans of Gearbox Publishing in the chat actually. So that's that's really cool. Uh, what else did they announce here? Um, there was the Monkey Island game. There was Mario and Rabbids. Uh, I think it was called Sparks of Hope. Yeah, Sparks of Hope. This comes out October 20th, and you can already pre-order this today. So, for those of you who are Mario and Rabbit fans, you guys are finally getting a sequel, I think, four or five years later. Uh, and, again, I've heard so many good things about the first one, and it's DLC. I need to pick this game up at some point and actually play it, so that I can also get to Sparks of Hope later. And I mean, it has Mario in it. Like, what's not to love about Mario? And, and if you're a Rabbids fan, too, you know, I don't judge. But personally, I'm way more of a Mario fan than a Rabbids fan. Uh, what else did they put in here? They put in... They put in this interesting Disney game that I'm probably not going to pick up. There's Doraemon Stardew Valley Edition. There's, uh, there's a Dragon Quest game in there. Portal Companion Edition. Which comes out... Uh, Oh, I did not get the- I did not get the logo, hold up. Yeah. Portal Companion Edition, which comes out late- uh, uh, which actually already came out, because at the time of me reacting to this, it's already almost, uh, 8pm PST. So it already came out. That's cool. And then... The big- the- Fight. The big announcement for me, personally, was this. Persona, October 21st. October 21st, this game's actually coming to Switch, and now I almost have no excuse not to play it besides me being busy with other games, but even then, I may hold off on this collection until Persona 4 and Persona 3 release, but once they do, I, I know I'm gonna have to pick this up. There's no way I can't. I mean, I know the Persona games are so immersive with content, 
And I don't, I don't know how much the bundle of all three of them is going to be worth, but you, you're going to have three, at least three, like, 100-plus-hour games to play for, like, maybe $60, something like that. If, if, if they're going to continue down the Nintendo Switch uh, cartridge prices, it's only going to be $60 for these three games, and that's a steal at this point. And considering they're, they're remaking and remastering Persona 4 and Persona 3 for the Switch as well. Like that's like that's actually insane. So I I think at this point I'm gonna have to pick this collection up, even though even though I still I'm still trying to get into RPGs more. But I I think I'm definitely gonna have to do it at this point because I'm telling you, my best friend, I'm, if my best friend ever sees this stream or this highlight that's gonna go up on YouTube eventually, he's gonna absolutely wonder if I ever bothered to buy it or not. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and take a look at the rest of the stuff here. Persona 5 coming out October 21st, and these two coming out later. So, overall, this mini direct was actually pretty solid. Again, I was almost not going to react to this because it was just a mini direct, and honestly, the last few mini directs were just. Well, it, it, they were probably good for some people. For me, they were just like a, you know, a decent watch, but there wasn't really anything that got my attention. So I was just kind of just like, eh, the whole way through, you know, but. There were a couple things in here that got my attention, and I mean, if there's anything I'm going to buy out of everything they announced today, it's probably going to be the Persona collection, because at this point, I know my best friend's going to bug the heck out of me for not playing it, so I, I need to actually play it now. But again, the latest I'll wait to get this is, is until Persona 3 comes out for Switch, which could be for a while, because if Persona 5 Royale is only coming out in October then we can expect Persona 4 to probably come out in 2023. And if they need a lot of time for Persona 3 Portable, then maybe even 2024 for this, which that's okay. I'm going to have a lot of my games done by then, so I'm, I'm, perfectly, I'm perfectly fine with this. But thank you all so much for watching this uh, direct reaction. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below to become a part of Chung, the Wangster Clan today. And make sure to go follow all my social medias in the description down below with X, uh, well, not with exclamation mark social, that's a Twitch thing. But speaking of Twitch, go follow me on Twitch if you want to see more live reactions like this. And like I said, we do play a lot of Fall Guys on here, or we did during the launch. And we'll definitely play, the, play Fall Guys again at some point. So if that sounds good to you, come through. Let's play some games together. Let's get some dubs together. I would love to have you on board. But... That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your freshly baked sleep. Just don't eat it. Peace.